visible sign for those who feel the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala referred to the story of Musa and Pharaoh. And also he referred to Ad and Samud as maybe you noticed or not that in the beginning of the Quran, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was referring to them, so he was relating their stories in detail. But now in these last paras and juz or ajza, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only referred to them. In, a, in, a, in one ayah or two ayah, and also the qawm of Nuh, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that we have created the sky very strong and we have spread it, the earth in a good way. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says from everything we have created pairs, maybe that are living entity and non living. But they are in pairs, even the stars, they are floating in pairs. And if something happened to one star, it happened to the other as well. And in the end of Surah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that I have not created jinn and human, but only for my worship. And those who disbelieved, Woe to them regarding their day which they have been promised for their accountability. Surah At-Tur, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is taking oath by certain creature. For us that is not allowed to take an oath, but only in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because taking an oath in the name of creature that is shirk. Why? Because the wisdom and oath are two things. Number one, that the one I am taking an oath in his name, he knows my open and hidden both. And that is the quality and attribute of Allah. And number two, in the name of whom I am taking an oath, he has the power to seize me anywhere in any time. And that is also the attribute of Allah. So if you are taking an oath in the name of a creature, so first you are proving these two qualities of Allah for that creature. So that's why it is called shirk in Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Man arada minkum billahi If you are in need of an oath, so just take it in the name of Allah or don't do it. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says as a jawab and answer to the oath, inna azaba rabbika that the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is certain and it will happen for sure. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is mentioning those who will be going to the hellfire. And those who will be giving to Jannah. And then Allah mentioned details, some details of the delights and nirmas and favors there in Jannah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they are calling you names. And they are propagating against you in a different way. But you are a messenger. Your duty is to convey the message and to remind them. So fazakir, fama anta bin ni'mati rabbika bikahinin wala majnoon. They are calling you magician. They are calling you soothsayer. They are calling you majnoon and insane. You are not. But actually they are trying to stop you from this message. So go ahead and give this message. And in the end of Surah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala consoled him. That was li hukmi rabbik. Don't lose your temper. Be patient and stable. Convey the message. Fa inna kabi ayurina. We are watching you and we are watching your job as well. That how you are doing. And we are watching them as well. That how their reaction is. And if you want strength. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. وَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكِ حِينَ تَقُومُ وَمِنْدَ اللَّيْلِ فَسَبِّحُ وَإِدْبَارَ النُّجُوبُ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says early in the morning. Because this Makki surah. So pray Fajr. وَمِنْدَ اللَّيْلِ فَسَبِّحُ And at night. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. فَسَبِّحُ So. Uh, mean pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa idbar al nujum and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says after the stars they disappear so that is uh, means that is a fajr prayer surah an najm actually the people of arabia they used to worship idols from other side of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam there is one man his great grandfather his name is abu kafsha so he was not in love with this idol worshipping. He said, does not make sense to me. And he was a businessman. So he saw people in Syria, 
that they were worshipping the heavenly bodies and specially one star that was very famous god to the Syrian people that is called Ashara in Arabic and in Quran. In English they call it Sirius. That is the name of a star. So they were worshipping that. So he got the idea there from and here he started introducing the worship of Sirius star there and they were called the Sabi'in. They God. Sabi'in. So that was the religion of Sabi'in. So Ibn Abi Kafsha, he brought that concept there to Arabia. And that's why whosoever later on was bringing a new idea, they used to call him Ibn Abi Kafsha. That he is son of Abu Kafsha. That he has brought a new idea. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that Sirius or any other star, it disappears. And God has not to disappear. He exists every time. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is referring to Mi'raj of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That Rasulullah has seen Jibreel in his original shape. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he gave him permission to show himself to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, once he saw him there in Makkah Mu'azzama, in Mahallatul Ajiyad, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was standing there in front of Haram. And Jibreel Amin showed himself and for the second time, when Rasulullah was upon the seventh heaven and he was close to the utmost boundaries of Lot tree, Sidratul Muntaha. So once again he asked Jibreel and he showed himself to. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the people of Arabia, they are attributing the angels to Allah as his daughters. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, they cannot tolerate only one daughter for themselves and these billions and trillions of daughters, they are attributed to Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Amdil insani ma tamanna. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the humans, they have been granted a permission in this regard to say whatever is coming in their mouth. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says they will face the consequences. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, Look at the guy who is turning his back to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he is I mean, doing every wrong thing. So what do you think about him? That what will happen to him? In the end of Surah Allah says, So this Quran is looking to you people something amazing in a sense that that is I mean, unique. We cannot believe it. What is Hakun and you are making a fun of it? What La Tabkun and you are not crying to Allah? Surah Al Qamar, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was there in Mecca. Abu Jal and other elites, they came to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It was a full moon night. So they asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you will split the moon into two pieces, then we will believe in you. And once again, rejoin it. So we will believe. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was inspired by Allah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he did like this. Two pieces, separate. Yes, and that's why. The Nawab of Bhopal. Who? The Nawab of Bhopal in your India at that time. He saw that. So he asked his own religious people. They were Buddhist. They were Buddhist. So he asked his own religious people. So they said that it means that... A Buddha. What? A Buddha. Because every sacred man they call him Buddha. That a Buddha that has appeared there in Arabia. That is a sign which is mentioned there in our book. So then the Nawab of Bhopal, he sent some people to find out. When they came back, they informed him that yes, a messenger is there. His name is Muhammad. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So Nawab of Bhopal, he himself, he went there. But coming back, to India, he died on his way back. So anyhow, اقتربتِ الساعات وانشق القمر. وإن يروا آية يعرضوا يقولوا سحر مستمر. Even though they ask for this miracle, and you did it, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. But those who are stripped of kafir, so they said, Oh, what a magic! And what a magician he is that he can affect even the heaven and the heavenly bodies. صلى الله سبحانه وتعالى سيف تولى عنهم. So turn around from them, they are khabis people. يوم يدعو الداعي إلى شيء النكر يخرجون من الأداس كأنهم جراد منتشر. Just let them wait for their day when they would be brought out of their graves and they would be put to accountability. And once again, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala He referred to the story of Noah, story of Ad. 
and the story of Samud that all of them they belied their prophets and they faced the consequences and also the people of Nod it happened to them and Pharaoh and his people he was seized or they were seized by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he referred to the all these nations that Allah destroyed them so Allah said akufarukum khairum min ulaikum these kafirs of you are in um, um, uh, Arabia they are better than those people amlaun baratun fi zubar or they have immunity that they will be doing the same thing and I will not touch them Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says they will who the, do the same thing in the end of surah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the pious people they will be there in the gardens with the king of the kings with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala surah ar-rahman in the very beginning of the surah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the most beneficent is the one who taught Quran who created insan and taught him to speak no any other animal can speak. You will say that the parrot speak. The parrot, he speaks, but he does not understand what he says. Yes, this faham and aql, this is all this idraq, which is called idraq in logic. So this idraq is only in human. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, but this idraq and speaking power I have not given to human, but only for reading Quran. That's why Ta'alim al-Quran has been mentioned prior to khalq al-insan. Ka'anna al-insana khulq al-ayyat al-allam al-Quran. It indicates like as Quran has been created, insan has been created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to learn Quran. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said that I have created the human min sulsan and al-fakhar from dust. Wa khalaqa al-janna min marij min nar and abu al-jinn, the father of jinnat like our father is Adam. So he has been created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from blue flame. Marij min nar mean the blue flame because the red flame is not that much in temperature as the blue flame is. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say marij min nar blue flame does not have any smoke. So the whole heat is there in the flame. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that Allah has given you different type of oceans. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that if you can do to penetrate in the aqtar of heaven and the earth. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says just go ahead and do it. I have given you the talent. If you will try, you can go to the heaven. If you can, you will try, you can go to the moon. If you will try, you can go to Mars. Like as your country said that we have, yeah, that already we have gone to moon. Yeah. Yes, so another scientist, he was asked there in India that now what's your next mission? So he said, now we are going to sun. He said to sun, sun is totally hydrogen. Yeah, what about the light and the temperature there? He said that we will go there at night time. <laughs> we'll go there at night they said that in sun there is no day and night <laughs> that is sun every time so how you will go there that is temperature so he said we will go to it from the back side so anyhow allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says whatever you can do so just go ahead and do that and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says on the day of judgment that the criminals, they will have a visible symbol and the angel will be catching them and throwing them in the hell fire. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that for those who are obedient people, so for them there are different type of jannat and they will be having every type of delight there. And in the end of surah Allah says, Tabarakasmu rabbika zil jalali wal ikram. Blessing one is the name of your Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who has majesty and the one who has the might. Surah Al-Waqiyah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that when the day of judgment will happen, nobody can stop it nor can seize it. And Allah says that you will be three types of people there. Number one, those who are obedient, they will be in two categories. One, we call them A plus and the second one, they are A. One group of people of Jannah will be A plus and the second group will be A. And on the other side, there will be F. So the Arab people, they will go to Jahannam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about them and their punishment and also the nirma of those who will be going to Jannah. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَقَدْ عَلِمْتُمْ مِنْ نَشْأَةَ الْأُولَى فَلَوْ لَا تَسَكَّرُونَ اِفَ لَوْ لَا تَقِيسُونَ If you say, just write in your bayas then. فَلَوْ لَا تَسَكَّرُونَ mean? فَلَوْ لَا تَقِيسُونَ 
They, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you know that we have created the whole world and we have created you. So why you are not making a qiyas of ijad and ijad? The one who can do ijad, the first creation, he cannot do the second creation. So you would be brought to life again and you would be put to accountability. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, why you are not thinking about your zara'at? That you are sowing the seeds and the plants uh, are coming out uh, producing the flowers and the fruits and the grain and you are eating it. So Allah says, you do what this process? Or Allah does that. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if you build, if you, we will destroy that seed inside the mud. So then what you will do? Who you will sue then or where you will go to bring it out? And then Allah says, that the water which you are drinking at iftar time, you are drinking what? Water. Not water. Ruhabza. People are drinking what? Ruhabza, yes. Once my mother, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give her the best jannah. So to, uh, to all our elders and to all the Muslims say Amen. So my mom once she asked me that uh, uh, Zoya, my son, why you are not bringing the kids back? We want them to be here. I said that I can come, but they will not. So she said, why they can? I said that they are drinking their black water, green water, red water, yellow water, and things like that. So she said that these different color waters are there in the wells. I say, yes, there are so many wells, and these are full of different colors of water. So um, I had, um, um, I mean, there's, there's Pepsi. Yeah, so I put a little bit in a cup and give it to him. I say, we used to call her baby. I say, baby, yes. this water, is it there black? I say, yes, there are the wells. It is bringing out black water, red water, yellow water, green water, yeah, different type of, yes. So she put it in mouth and she, he says, Zoya, well, this is poison, don't drink it. Yes, she said it like this because he didn't like the taste, but actually poison is. Is it or not? And this Hamid is drinking day and night. Don't drink it. So anyhow, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, The fire with which you are cooking your food. The fuel you have created for it or we have created. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that So all these are the ni'mat. And that is to the approach of common layman. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning that. Allah is not telling them that the aeroplane you are flying. I am the one who has given talent to the scientists and they have made this. Because people do not know. Come on, layman, he knows these things. The water and the seed and the plant and the fire and things like that. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing a common buzgar. They think about that. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran and Kareem. This is very respectable Quran. That has come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So why you people are not believing in the tawheed of Allah? Surah Al-Hadid. Hadid means the iron or the steel. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to whom belongs the kingdom of the heaven and king of the earth. And he is the one who created the whole world in six periods. And how many? In six period, three stages, and every stage was of two periods. So all together, six periods. And the scientists now they came to know that yes, six stages are six periods. It took place. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the sixth one in the end, in the end of the sixth one, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created yes. And he told us that I have established a very beautiful world for you. Now everything is ready. Just go and enjoy that. And entertain. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. That who is there to give qarz hasan or noble loan to Allah means by making charity for you. Allah will multiply it as far as his ajr is concerned. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, This life of this world, that's just like a play and drama. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that whatever calamity befalls you on earth are in your own body. Illa fi kitab min qabli an nabraha. Believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already had decreed that that's why it's happened. In nazalika ala Allah yaseer. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says if you will strengthen your belief in taqdeer, so you will not be proud of what you gained. And you will not be upset of what you are facing. Because you will say, yes, what I gained? Allah decreed. 
what I am facing, Allah decreed. And in the end of Surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ittaqullah wa aminu bi rasulih, yutikum kiflaini wa rahmati, he is addressing the people of the book, that you must say, La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah, so for every single good deed, you will be having double order, if a Jew or a Christian will accept the message of Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and he will become a Muslim, so in a hadith narrated by Imam Tirmizi, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, three people are there, they will be practicing one deed, but their reward is double. Yes, they have, because they have been a mean, they are constant on our time. Yes, they are constantly on our time. And our time is, you know, double. Yes, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Rajulun, Rasulullah sallallahu says, Rajulun amana bi nabihi wa amana bi Muhammad. A Jew or Christian who believed in his own messenger, but when he received the message of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa so he believed in his message, he will be praying. One Aisha prayer will be getting the reward of one prayer, he will be getting the reward of to prayer. He will be fasting one day, we will be getting the reward of one day, but that Jew and Christian who accepted la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, he will be giving two, and, and so and so on. We will be spending one dollar for the sake of Allah, so we will be getting reward of one dollar, but for one dollar he will be getting the reward of two dollars. So Rajulun, Amana bi Nabiyihi wa Amana bi Muhammadin, and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says,